What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're tackling breakfast. Yes, the king of all meals. We're gonna take on a waffle protein recipe. Yep, you heard that right now. Biggest question is, are you team pancakes or team waffles? Comment down below, let me know what you guys prefer. I personally am a huge Caffles fan. Caffles. Yep, you heard that right. Cakes and waffles. I don't discriminate, I love them both. Even though waffles have storage compartments that you can just absolutely fill with some delicious glory. Now, outside of that, we gotta make sure that you guys have an epic waffle maker. I personally love this one. I picked it up off of Amazon and it has stood the test of time. I personally love the round waffle maker, but I'm gonna go ahead and put all the links to everything that I'm using today down below in the description box or in the pinned comment so you guys can go ahead and check them out. But without further ado, let's get into the recipe. So to kick off the dry ingredients, we're gonna go ahead and use 120 grams of flour. Now, in this case, we're gonna go ahead and use 120 grams of self-rising flour, but if you've got all-purpose flour, feel free to use that as well. So we're going ahead and tossing in 120 grams of flour. I'm gonna go ahead and toss all the dry ingredients into one bowl and then the wet ingredients into another. Boom, 120 grams. Now in terms of protein, protein! We're gonna go ahead and use 62 grams of a weigh casing mix. Now if you guys don't have a pre-mixed weigh casing protein, we're gonna go ahead and use 49 grams of a casein protein along with 12 to 13 grams of a whey protein. And if you guys are looking for new flavors of proteins, go ahead and check out Transparent Labs. You know what to do, code Jason for 10% off. In case you guys are wondering why we're using a casein protein, casein protein tends to hold in a lot more moisture for baked goods instead of drying it out by just using a whey protein. Then we've got 12 grams of a whey protein. Next, we're gonna go ahead and give these waffles some girth. So we're gonna go ahead and toss in four grams of a bacon powder. Then we've got 20 grams of a sugar-free vanilla pudding mix. So before we move on to the wet ingredients, I'm just giving the dry ingredients a nice little mix. Make sure all the ingredients are incorporated together, especially the baking powder. All right, let's go ahead and set that aside and get to our wet ingredients. Now to kick off the wet ingredients, we're gonna go ahead and use 250 grams of your favorite nut milk. Now today we're gonna go ahead and use an unsweetened almond milk. Feel free to use coconut and macadamia nut, whatever type of nut milk gets your fancy, but otherwise 250 grams of your favorite nut milk. Then we've got two whole large eggs. Then we've got 30 grams of a light butter. Then we've got 60 grams of a fat-free Greek yogurt. Now this last ingredient is completely optional, but I guarantee you, once you add this, this is gonna tie in all the flavors. And honestly, once you start whipping up these bad boys on the waffle maker, your place is gonna smell like your favorite diner. That's four grams of a maple extract. Now that we got the wet into the dry, we're just gonna go ahead and fold everything together. I would definitely recommend using a spatula over a whisk, but otherwise we'll go ahead and fold everything together and then also kickstart our waffle maker. Make sure to preheat the waffle maker, then we'll hit it with some non-stick spray and then we'll just load her up. Now each waffle is gonna give you a little over 300 calories. I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories and macros up on the screen now. And each waffle will give you 33 to 35 grams of protein with a little bit of fat as well, considering that we use two whole large eggs and then also a little bit of light butter. Now, considering it's bulking season, a little bit of fat ain't hurt nobody. Now, let's go ahead and dive in. Now these waffles have a little bit of a crisp as soon as you take them off the waffle iron. If you guys are planning on making a large batch, I would highly recommend you guys to put these waffles into the oven at 350 degrees just to help maintain that crisp. But otherwise, as you can see, these waffles are definitely very fluffy. That's what I'm talking about. Damn, that's so good. Oh yeah. Just look at how soft that is. Honestly guys, this recipe is probably one of my absolute favorites. These waffles are just too damn epic to pass up. But guys, we're gonna go ahead and close out this video. I appreciate you all tuning in to another anabolic recipe. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to flex on that subscribe button, give this video a big fat thumbs up, and comment down below, team waffles, team pancakes, or team caffles. Either way, it's gonna help out with the algorithm. And if you guys decide to whip up these bad boys, 
tag me in your creations on Instagram or comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Outside of that, if you guys wanna see more of this awesome face, check out the video here or hit me up on the good old Insta. But in the meantime, stay safe, stay swole, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.